two Supreme Court justices say marriage equality decisions should be overturned in the United States of America. Recently, United States Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas issued an opinion that attacked the 2015 Supreme Court decision in um, Obergfeld versus Hodges, the decision that federally legalized marriage equality as unconstitutional as it, quote, bypassed the democratic process and caused people with, quote, sincerely held religious beliefs concerning marriage to find it increasingly difficult to participate in society, end quote. Um, quote, by choosing the privilege, a novel constitutional right over the religious liberty interest explicitly protected in the First Amendment, and by doing so undemocratically, the court has created a problem that only it can fix, wrote Thomas, who was joined by Justin Samuel Alito. Until then, uh, Obergfeld with, will continue to have ruinous consequences for religious liberty, end quote. Thomas made the statement about Obergfeld while denying a petition from Kim Davis, a county clerk in Kentucky who has been involved in litigation ever since she refused to issue a marriage license to same-sex couples while citing her Christian beliefs. So I think this is really interesting because we were just talking about the judges in Pakistan who may have let this person go, not because they were making an ideological statement or, but they were just arguing a legal point. These guys are not in this state um, statement that they um, put out arguing a legal point at all, in my opinion. They're saying that this is unconstitutional because the courts are now um, deciding that their religious beliefs aren't valued, and so therefore people call them bigots. And that's not fair to them. They can't participate because it's not fair that they get okay. both names. Sorry, sorry, I, I have to ask. Where in the Constitution says that Christians have the right not to get Exactly, that's hurt? what I'm saying. Like, th I, that doesn't make sense. They don't have that. That's their legal argument. And he's saying it wasn't done democratically. Well, there's lots of things that the court ends up deciding. That is part of the democratic process. That's how it works. Uh, people um, elect presidents who then appoint justices who then make decisions on the constitutionality of specific things that people have brought petitions to the court about. Miscegenation is one of them, you know, so democratically, you should have had a vote in the entire country. People don't vote in the entire country on lots of other things. So why is this special? This is special because it's his religion that he thinks is special and he needs to protect these people from being called bigots. That's what it sounds like to me. The argument he's making. Mm -hmm. Susanna? So it's important to note he made this statement while he was denying a petition from Kim, Kim Davis, um, who, um, as a government employee, refused to complete her job as a government employee by issuing marriage, state, marriage certificates in Kentucky. She was abdicating her responsibility as a government employee because of her sincerely, sincerely held beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> and um but the reason why he denied the case is important thomas um uh the supreme court refused to hear the case thomas and alito agreed with the court because davis's case does not cleanly present a chance to overturn obergfeld but they explained exactly why they think the landmark Equality, marriage equality decision is unconstitutional. So they denied this not because they have a problem with her case, but because they did not think that it could actually present significant um, credibility to overturn the decision entirely. Well, and they may realize that exactly that, like she might, they might actually not win. I mean, she may have sworn an oath that she has to follow the law of the United States, and that's the law. And yes, she has a religious belief, so you have to grant her a reasonable accommodation. But if she's the only person in the entire county 
who can sign marriage licenses, her refusal to do it at all is not a reasonable accommodation. So they do have the right to force her to do it. Mm -hmm. then, it's her job. It's literally what she's paid taxpayer money to do. Um, so also, so here was another thing that he wrote, which is goes into what Armin was saying earlier. Uh, Obergfell enables courts and governments to brand religious adherents who believe that marriage is between one man and one woman as bigots, making their religious liberty concerns much easier to dismiss. Okay. <laughs> like, Hold on. What the what the hell is going on here? Can yeah. I, am I misunderstanding something? Uh, so, the court, the supreme, two of the judges. Okay, Susanna, just wait for me to uh, ask this question, please. But the Constitution that says that everybody in the United States should have should be treated equally under the law. Okay, so based on that alone, that means. You know gay people should be able to get married just like straight people all right but they said like they're ignoring that in favor of religious liberty which they're inter uh, interpreting as oh if you say something and people call you a bigot then we have to protect your feelings feelings because that that goes like it, 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 wait the the judges are actually openly saying that they want to throw away gay rights because they're worried about the hurt feelings of Christians because if they based on these new standards based on these new laws if they say they're against certain views other people are gonna call them bigots yes and apparently religious liberty in their mind means we need to protect you from butthurt. Yes. That's what religious liberty means in their mind? Wait, like, I have you, could no, no, you could insert slavery in there, and it would be the same argument that some people made. Oh, well, it's their religious liberty, and we can't allow no, people no, who no, are no, abolitionists no, 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 no. No, sorry, to say sorry. that. No, no that's, not what, that's not It's even worse than that, Rivka. They're not even saying that. They're saying other people, other people's opinion, comments, but these laws... All right. Is right. I get it. No, let me let me just say this, because these laws are just going to norm. What is what it does? It encourages certain people commenting on your views in a negative way. They're they're trying to protect Christians from being called bigots. Is that the job of the Supreme Court of the United States to protect Christians from being called bigots, especially when they are being bigots? Is that what they're uh, going? The reason why I, I sorry, I just want to say the reason why I said you can insert slavery in there is because he also right. says it makes it um, easier to label these people as bigots for merely refusing to alter their religious beliefs in the in the wake of prevailing orthodoxy. And what I mean by that is so if you have a bunch of people who believe as part of their religion, which a lot of people who kept slaves did that their religious beliefs that these people were less than and therefore it was part of ordained by God. So if you're the prevailing orthodoxy is abolition. So now we need to protect your feelings about this. So we can't change the law because the people who have a religion, you see what I mean? That's where mm -hmm. I was going. With. How are these people Supreme Court judges? Go on, Susanna. Lifetime appointment, baby. <laughs> like, um, yeah, that's the joy of the construction of our judicial branch. Um, but Rivka, that quote you gave is even more, well, I don't want to call it tasty but spicy because he's saying since obergfeld parties have continually attempted to label people of goodwill as bigots for merely refusing to alter their religious beliefs in the wake of prevailing orthodoxy like it's um i don't i don't think i don't think that is goodwill the refusal to treat people equally under the law i don't think that is goodwill <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it is or not mm -hmm. it's not a legal argument no it's not a legal argument saying that some that this law makes it easier for people who don't agree with it to be called bad names so therefore it makes it unconstitutional because because when they get called bad names 
that makes it appear as if they can't practice their religion. They can practice all they want, but they're not free from getting called names. That's not a legal argument. That's like a woke Astani argument almost. It is. Um, Vox's Ian Milheiser called it astonishing that two Supreme Court justices want to take away civil rights from my, a minority just because people who oppose them have been called unkind words. That's really what it comes down to. But by the way, even if this doesn't happen, this sets a precedent across the world that look, even in the United States, the highest judges in the land are against this, right? Like when it comes to normalizing gay marriage across the world, like one thing we like about our countries like leading the way so that it becomes nor normal and accepting for other countries to follow. But the people who are against gay marriage in countries where it hasn't been legalized could always point to this, uh, always point to this. So like, look, even in countries where gay marriage is normalized and, you know, you have educated legal people, the, the, the best of all legal people, the, the highest judges, right? The most qualified people in their land saying, look, there is a problem with this. And so this goes beyond the borders of the United States, the consequences of this, right? Yes. But again, I, could, I didn't even imagine that this could, yeah, I mean, this means that if you, I mean, if like Trump gets another four years, for example, <laughs> well, this is the no, this wait, is can activist I finish, can I finish, judges can I finish, though, can I finish from, that the republicans were decrying yeah. <laughs> can i no but i'm saying that this like i couldn't imagine that even the possibility of going back this far like to to actually undo like it would be bizarre i mean it would be unimaginable it was unimaginable to me for the united states to be like oh gay marriage was legal we're going back to making it not legal like that would be like un impossible i thought but is it now it seems like i mean if trump wins and two I, of them are open no i don't think so i don't think you take rights away that you've given you know people don't give back power okay well, so honestly we had, whether it's people mm -hmm. or whether it's governments so I mean, it's happened before though yeah. i know but here you know prohibition legal then on not legal you know so they made what i'm saying is i don't think people give back power i don't think it's going to happen i don't know what kind of argument you could make that's a legal argument that doesn't include magic sky friends as well, protecting magic people's magic sky friends over some so this opens the gate for all kinds of stuff now so we're going to yeah. take back women voting because some people sincerely held religious beliefs are that women shouldn't vote are we going to take back you know um i don't know um right so civil, some civil rights era things because some people so, deeply held you see what i'm saying i just don't yeah but Rivka, think yeah, but we, we had on, on Secular Jihadists, we had uh, Andrew Seidel, which is like the... Yeah, uh, I know who he from is. Freedom, from Freedom, yeah, but I need to tell other people. Uh, from Freedom Religion uh, Foundation, who, he's a constitutional lawyer, is that how you say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he he thought it was, is def if, if Trump wins, it's definitely possible for uh, gay marriage to become illegal. But he, I mean, I don't know if I agree with him, or, but I mean, <sighs> well, I might too. But that's what he, I mean, he's the expert. What's here, the so. argument, though? Like, I mean, th they're trying to make a constitutional argument out of people's feelings. I mean, it seems like most of the time when people win arguments about constitutional rights, they don't actually win on that. They win on technicalities of the, of the law. There's nothing legal at all about this, it is from what I can see. But I don't know. I'm not a constitutional lawyer. He is. So I'm going to give right. him the deference if he thinks that there's something going on here. But I, right. um, I'm not going to give my opinion on that. All right. So I think, OK, Susanna, can you actually read this? There's somebody bringing me mail. So I'm going to yeah. highlight this for you to read. Well, oh, hold on. Let me I'll be right back. OK. Oh, this whole Facebook comment. OK. Um, 
Brian Nacho is saying this is because we never, for whatever reason, canonically refute religious nonsense when it nonsense when it involves the law. The only opposition I can fathom to equality in all things always stems from religious biases. Every time, regardless of topic. It's very simple. Religion did not create marriage, but it does heavily incorporate it into religious policies. So when it comes to, say, two gay men being denied the ability to marry in a church, <laughs> then tough titties, fellas. <laughs> you picked the wrong religion. The church has every right to set the rules within their special club. That being said, once marriage moved from being only a religious thing, and there were laws issued about it re regarding assets, divorce, a marriage license, etc., then marriage itself is no longer solely a religious principle. It's a legal issue. And in the U.S., there is a separation of church and state, parentheses, it has deteriorated much in the last 50 years, but it is still here. Um, and thus, uh, does not and should not follow any religious prompting to the validity of said union. Good comment by Brian. Hitting, hitting it home. Right. And also, also this person, wait, there was another person who agreed with us that everything could go backwards. Oh, this one. Check this um, one. Stuart Huntley is saying, normal person says this is exactly mm -hmm. what was expected. It will be a full reversal of all human rights for the last 100 <laughs> years. Now the Supreme Court will be packed. USA back to the future episode of 1930s coming to a VR cinema near you. I find that heavily <laughs> alarmist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That seems a little bit too hyperbolic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A little hyperbolic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 